I try to follow the rule that when I bring something home, I bring something in. Otherwise, I would be on the hoarder show. Hi guys, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. It's Thursday, which means I'm at the shop today. Just opened up. I have a few little things I have to do first and then I have a few things over there that I need to get priced. Right now, I am sorting through some tags. I'll show you what I'm doing. Sorting through tags. When we sell something, we take the tags off um, and it, we just, it's just how we keep record of everything. But it's been, oh, about a month or so since I've gone through the tags and I go through them all because I do have some consigners that sell locally made items. And when they sell something, I have these little puncher things and I put them on this little puncher thing, but I always go through our box. This is when I sell something, I pull the tag off and I stick it in that box just to make sure that I didn't miss anything. And then I will file these all away and start with a new box for a new month or a new two months since I haven't done this in about a month. Looking around thinking, what am I going to do today? Now, normally I have music going, but Thanks to being demonetized, I'm not gonna play the music while I can, because I have control over that. Isn't that glorious? You go into Goodwill, you go into a store somewhere, and you can't control the radio, but when you're in your own store and you wanna film something, I'm in control. Uh, nobody's in the shop right now, so it isn't as odd for me to be sitting here talking to this my phone right now. But uh, I'm walking around thinking what I'm going to do today. When I come in on Thursdays, and I'm going to start filming these videos when I'm in here. I never really know what I'm going to do. It just kind of whatever I feel needs to happen today. Um, I'm thinking there is one area, and I'll show it to you, that needs a little bit of attention. This cabinet right here, as you can see, this is the yellow area of the shop and we sold some things. There are some holes. There's a hole there. There's a hole up there and things are just kind of just a little muck a little bit. So I'm going to straighten this up a little bit and make it look a little bit more appealing. The green area is still okay. I see a few little empty spots up here. And this little flag needs to, it's kind of blocking some areas. So I think that's what I'm going to do for this morning. There are a couple other areas that I'd like to straighten up. It looks like I've sold something back there. I don't work in the shop on Saturdays. We have someone that works in here for us. So when I come in on Thursdays, I'm kind of filling in a little bit of the voids of things that have sold. Let's check out the blue area. It looks pretty good. I straightened up the blue area before I left on Friday, but you know, sometimes it's just even moving subtle things around. Like, let's see, let's just put this bottle over here and just move these things around just a little bit. One thing that I have found and one thing that I've I don't want to say I've really researched it, but when you put things in threes is aesthetically appealing. So I have all this grouping right here. So let me move these over and let me go ahead and move this over for now. You see, I have three bottles and they're, this one's obviously the tallest. And then if you stage them in threes, sometimes it just takes moving things around a little bit but you stage them in threes. It is more appealing to the eye. So then I can just move around subtle things and add a little bit, add it, made it, make it just a little bit different. I'll put these guys down here. And again, down here, I'm gonna arrange things, keeping that thirds in mind. So let's try that with this. So I've got these two cans and that bottle there. And sometimes, again, you, you'll find yourself just, just moving things around a lot, just ever so much. Let's put this little kitty cat here. All right. So we've straightened this up a little bit. Looks a little bit different. So let's see what else we can do.
One thing that I wanted to show you too is something that I brought from my house. I had this church pew on my porch maybe for maybe about a year or so, but I ended up changing it out as I often do when you have when things are constantly revolving and you buy new things and you're at auctions and you see all these things, you constantly want things for your own home. So I try to follow the rule that when I bring something home, I bring something in. Otherwise, I would be on the hoarder show. That they would feature me. So let me show you the church pew that was on my front porch but I brought to the shop and now I have it staged. All right, let me zoom out just a little bit. So this is the church pew and the way that the building is, it kind of seems like it swoops down a little bit, which is good because it does help with drainage. But this was on my porch. It's a very cool, almost like a deacon's pew. It has the two ends there. This is a very primitive piece and I paired it with a quilt that's for sale and a pumpkin and just some primitive pieces like that. I have $250 on this church pew and so I have that stage like that. And then outside, here's my beautiful area that my shop is in. I'll go ahead and pan to my building. Um, we are getting ready to do, redo the facade up there. So that's all going to be changed soon, as well as some of the work down there and up there. But I have these really cool mid-century chairs. I'm actually going to mark them down today. I think this is going to be a special that I'm going to have today. I have them $20 for all four. I think I'm going to mark them down to $15 for all four chairs. And as well as this school desk I've had for a very long time. And I'm wanting to move it. I have $27 on it. It's a cast iron school desk. I think this is something I'm going to mark down as well. I might do like $20 on it. It's a really cool piece. It has this cast iron. I have one of these on my porch <laughs> as well. So I just wanted to show you some of the things that I brought from my house to resell. As we're walking in, oh, I forgot to turn on some lamps. I have these really cool mid-century lamps. I don't have that one plugged in or a light bulb in it. And they don't have shades. So what I do is I buy these Edison bulbs and it just, it, it provides a little bit of light. Yes, it's not really, it doesn't really go, but I don't have the proper lampshades for those. So I will let the customer, you know, envision their own process with that. But this area is okay. That area is okay. So when I come in in the mornings, I just go from area to area, just scan where there might be some holes or some places. Like I'm not real happy. I had some suitcases here that sold. So I might do something different with this table today. This just looks a little thrown around for me. So I'm probably gonna work on that today. That looks okay. And the red area, I think it looks fine. There doesn't seem to be any holes over here. Whoops, I will just kind of just fix things a little bit. Oh, I sold a canister that was there. So I'll just put something else up there as well. Another thing that I'm going to do today is um, walk around and see if there are items that I've had for a while and if I'm going to list it online and I will go ahead and get it listed while I'm in the shop. There was something holding these. So I'm gonna to have to find something else to go there. All right, let's see. What other area? Okay, there's no holes in that area. Oh, there's Pinky. There's the, my most favorite piece of furniture in the shop. This is Pinky. And Pinky seems to be okay. All right. This is an area, this area over here, I wanted to do something different with as well. It's been like that for a hot minute. So I think we're gonna zhuzh this up a little bit and make it a little bit nicer. I have all those cameras down there that I kind of want to showcase. It's hard to see them down there. So I think I'm gonna move them up here and make a new display in this cabinet. Pretty much what I do when they're when it's slow, when it's there's nobody in the shop, I'll go around from piece of furniture to piece of furniture and 
just change things up a little bit. Just make it look a little bit more fresh. I do that every day. I know that if you have an antique booth, it's gonna be a lot harder for you to probably go somewhere every day, but every day that you're there, move things around just ever so slightly. You might be surprised at how just slightly moving something around will make it sell. And I often do sales. And what I do is I will pick an item and it will be like the item of the week or the item of the day and I'll mark it down and that will be my sale and I'll put it on social media and um, it typically it typically will sell. It's usually things that I'm kind of sick of seeing and I want to move it and I want it to go. So I'll mark it down. And honestly, those metal chairs that I showed you, I'm really kind of sick of bringing them in and out all the time. They're hard to display because I have no table for them. So I'm going to mark them down. I am notorious for doing this, despite my dad and my husband, because they're not here. And if they're not here, I'm gonna do what I want. And I am, because I want it to move. So that's the plan for today. And if anything else exciting happens, then I'll jump on here. I will try to film myself doing, changing up the displays a little bit so you can get a little bit of an idea of my thought process. And are you sure you really want to know? Because there's no rhyme or reason to it. I just do what I do without thinking for the most part. Okay, you can see here what I did to this shelf here. Just added a few more items to fill in the gaps. Moved a couple things around. Still keeping with the idea of the thirds when I do my bottles and different things like that. It's just a pleasing to the eye as well. So just something to keep in mind. So this one is completed and I'm going to go on to the next. What I do is I'm pricing these vintage John Deere owner's manuals. They're inside of this envelope. Uh, I have sold some of these for, gosh, over $30 for a few. This one isn't that of a desirable one. So this one I'm gonna put in the shop for $10. This one's in pretty rough shape. It is for a McCormick Deering tractor uh, continental engine. It's just the schematics and everything. So I'm going to look this one up. It's, I got these in an auction, at an auction lot. Um, and then I have a parts list for Let's and then this John Deere uh, manual. I'm going to look up as well. Fun day, Dad, today. Oh, it's lovely. Beautiful. Fun day. Hi, guys. It's Misty. So I'm home now, and I realized that I once again did not film any sort of an ending for my video at the shop today. So... What I wanted to ask is, I'm going to try to film every Thursday when I'm at the store, but I want to know what kinds of things, as far as the antique shop or reselling antiques and vintage things in general, are you interested in learning and knowing about? That will help me out with a little bit of as far as what kind of content I'm going to be putting on those videos. So if you would please leave me a comment and let me know what types of things that you would like for me to film while I'm in the shop. So I guess with that, now I'm going to end. Make sure that you please subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up notification so I know that you like this video, leave me the comment, and make sure that you're subscribed. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free.